Today we're tackling one of my favorite mind-blowing concepts, that race is a social construct, not a biological one. This means racial categories vary across cultures and over time. How many categories and how they're defined depends on the culture and historical moment that you're in. Some cultures recognize many races and others only two or three. Although we may use physical characteristics like skin color or hair texture or even language or religion to group people into racial categories, those aren't based on genetics. And you can be put into a group by someone else based solely on your appearance. In fact, genetic variation within racial groups is often greater than variation between groups. So why does this matter? Groups that are genetically related are called biological populations, which refers to humans who interbreed and share a common geographic origin. Learning if someone is from a particular biological population can be important for identifying inherited medical conditions like cystic fibrosis or sickle cell anemia. But lumping people into racial groups is an arbitrary distinction that often promotes stereotypes and facilitates discrimination. In reality, all humans share 99.9% .9 of our genetic code, so there's far more that unites us than divides us biologically.